It was tough. It was a tough game, and uh, it came down to the end, and uh, we, we needed a special teams play, and, you know, we didn't get the block. It was a great game, but tough loss for us. Locker? Uh, how... He's a good player. You know, I have a lot of respect for him. Good? I mean, that last drive was pretty. I mean, are you thinking? Like, is there a sense of you guys knew what was coming on that, that, that drive, that they were kind of driving, driving? I mean, obviously no, I mean, you knew what knew happened last year. We knew they were going to use him. You know what we're going to do, and keep the ball in his hand. But, you know, you got to respect everybody else on the field, too. You can't just play one guy. And, you know, he got the best of it. So. What do you expect Kiffin's going to tell you guys after this? We keep working. You know, we still are USC. We still are chosen, but we got to keep working to, to beat everybody else. So. What kind of defensive uh, adaptations did you guys make in the second half to try to limit Locke? I mean, basically, we, we just had to make sure we, we tackled better. You know, it wasn't our defensive calls that was getting us. It was us missing plays. You know, they were making some better than us. And to that point, I saw you make some really hard hits out there. Can you talk about was there actually motivation behind that? Right, I mean, but those hard hits, is, I got I to wrap up on I missed a lot of tackles, too. We all did as a defense. And those big hits could be momentum changers, and it could change the way the offense plays, you know, if they're scared to get hit. So. Did the refs ever tell you anything about that one shot you got called for Man, in the elbow? It's, I, I don't know why they call that a penalty. We were wondering, sometimes, too. Sometimes you just can't hit too hard, I guess, in college football. It looked like on the replay you led with your forearm and your shoulder. I know, I, I know my shoulder is bothering me right now, so I'm sure I didn't go helmet to helmet. But, you know, they made the call, and we can't do nothing about it. What were you thinking on the, on the strip? I mean, any quarterback that can run the way he can is, is a problem for any defense. You know, he can run like that, and he can throw the ball. He has good receivers, so it's real hard to contain everybody. So. Can you take us through the strip in the end zone where he forced it out of his hands right as he's about to hit the goal line? Oh, I, I, I just I mean, I seen the ball out the whole time. I was waiting to catch him. And, you know, I didn't know it was going to fall into the end zone, but I, I the whole yeah. time I was thinking to punch the ball out. He had the ball loose, and I was punching it out. Were you How trying you to grab him to hold I felt good. It was a good play. It was a, it, it, it was a momentum changing play. You know, we got the ball back on the 24 offense. They went down and scored. And, you know, it could have changed the outcome of the game. When you grabbed him, I mean, you needed to hold him up in order yeah, to punch yeah. it out? I knew I couldn't drag him down, so I just grabbed him and slowed him down and punched the ball slow out. Slowing down to, in order to, to punch, punch the it ball out. out. Do you think they might be thinking about no, calling No, they, they couldn't call it if, he didn't, if I didn't pull him down. Him down but yeah. do you think they were thinking that? They, were, they did call it. They did call they, they it? They called a the penalty. Called the, yeah. That's what, what that was? Call? They called a horse collar on this one, but I never put them down, so. So somebody came up and talked them out of it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, was they talked call? about it as an official, and they knew that. I didn't put them down, so they couldn't be a penalty. That was your guys' first force fumble of the year. I mean, is that? Right, I mean, yeah. Surprisingly, man, it's hard to say, but. Uh, <laughs>